All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's VMP, and welcome back. This time, as you can see, with it has been quite some time. But if you don't remember, there's this mod called a New Dawn, and, and that's what we're playing right now. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been quite a while since we've done uh, an episode, really, other than the new Fantasy Cal Radio series. It's been like four or five straight episodes of that. Uh, but I decided to get back into the swing of uh, what we normally do and try to spread out the video, spread the love. Uh, so at the end of episode of uh, last episode um, we became a vassal that was actually in the beginning of last episode so we are now a vassal uh, for the county of Garoa and when we left off last time uh, there was a tournament going on in Derpa and I said I'd do that between episodes which I just did uh, we got a little bit of cash from it like 10 grand or so um, we got a our uh, reward for winning it was a pavise, a plain old pavise, a shield that's worth 150 dinars. So yeah, quite the uh, grand reward we got there for being the tournament champion. Um, but oh well, uh, that little bit of cash should help us out a bit as our party is quite expensive. Um, so we are a lord now, and we do have our glorious fief of Mitnun, um, the uh, poverty-stricken, looted, uh, little village that we still haven't even been able to check out yet um, yeah that's cool uh, 250 dinars a week to appoint a chamberlain which resides at our court uh, yeah sure fine oh wait, wait what was that last thing Did that last thing say let's see what that last thing said which makes me a little nervous um, yeah, we don't really care between that battle Although, is that the Rodox? The Rodox has mercenaries? Hmm. Um, at some point, it'd be nice to check them out and at least so we can start making money off of them because we really, the only ways we're making money right now are from the few die works that we have and then um, our uh, land that we have in like uh, Jalcala and stuff, which we might need to, have, might need to uh, stop there sometime soon to stop off on cash because we are making enough money a week to offset the uh, party's wages it's just that um, a lot of it stays in the towns until we go and pick it up um, that's not too big of a deal they're definitely worse problems to be had and hello look at these war elephants that we could pick up if we wanted to Jesus 123,000 for a heavy Serranian War Elephant, 28 armor, 25 speed. This thing is straight flaming fast. Pretty sure us walking is faster than 25 speed. 20 maneuver, but look at that, 260 charge, 1,210 hit points. That is nuts. That is absolutely insane. Um, but we actually have a really good horse right now. I was checking that out. Um, it's like this one, except it's not timid. Uh, actually, we might want to pick that one up just so we have an extra. I mean, we do have this uh, light Palomino Ch Corsair, which is still has a speed of 50, but this one, speed of 50, maneuver of 52, and some more charge. That's pretty nice. Uh, I wish we could find a spirited one of these. A spirited spotted desert horse. If we ever do find one of those, we are set, because that thing's going to have, like, low 50s speed, upper 50s maneuver, ton of hit points. That's going to be nice. Um, but yeah. So wait, why did I come to Cherise? I'm not entirely sure. Do we have... Oh, we did have money sitting here. There we go. And we also need some food. Uh, we are going through an absolute fuck ton of food right now. Uh, having this party of like 150. So we'll get as much as we can. Um, Alright. So we are paying all this money to have this party. And we should put it to good use. And I'm thinking we want a castle. We want a castle so we can station the troops uh, that we don't necessarily want on us at all times. So we're not spending as much on food. We can move a little faster. And just so we can actually start building up an army for later on in the series once we want to actually... Uh, what? The Sun Crusaders have converted many citizens in Voluca. Well, yeah, they own the city. I would hope so. Oh, we're at war with them. I didn't realize that. Who all are we at war with? Um, yeah, so we definitely want a castle. If we can get one this episode, that would be nice. Okay, we are at war with the Highlanders and the Yumnins. 
Uh, the Balian Repu we're at war with like freaking everybody. If we're not at war with them, then we have a truce with them, which is the only reason we can't attack them. We are at war with the Kurgits as well. The Kurgits might be nice to pick on. Although the Yumnans and Highlanders, obviously they're pretty trash. I'm surprised the Highlanders even have any castles left. Yeah, three castles. Okay. Let's... Oh, is this it? Oh, there's one right here. That's actually pretty close to the rest of us. That might be worth us paying a visit to, just to see what kind of troops they have there. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I like that idea. So go ahead and take a cast for us. So we have at least an HQ, uh, base of operations. Uh, I did warm up with the tournament, so it's not like I'm coming in dry. Uh, it has been a, uh, a week since I recorded the last episode. Once again, uh, very hectic. Um, a lot happened this past week that I'll probably get into at some point over the next couple episodes. Um, yeah. College overall is going pretty great. There's just, uh, a few things that have happened that have really fucking sucked. Um, in particular, last Friday, uh, today is Tuesday, um, last Friday, after our first track practice, um, hmm, now let's not warm up with them, no need, uh, so, first let me get into the, uh, ooh, hello, who's this? He was chasing us for a sec, what are you doing? Well, he's actually a Balian guy, he has a couple Balian admirals, I would fight you, are we faster than you? I doubt it. No, we are not. Definitely not faster than you. Who are you? Oh, you have a Lord Prisoner. Ooh, a bunch of Black Kurgits. Five point... What are you? Five point five. We are... Oh, we're really 4.6? God, we are slow. Um, okay, 345. We can definitely take that. Only two, two Spirit Champions. What are Spirit Champions? I haven't seen those yet. Islanders. The Highlanders. They count as just outlaws? I don't think so. Uh, oh, they do. So I don't know what spirit champions are. I guess we'll find out. Let's go ahead and besiege it. Uh, so the, the practice itself wasn't the bad part. Practice was fine. We didn't actually uh, do any actual like practicing for track. It was mainly just a workout. Um, so we got there. Uh, let's look at this. Okay. So we have, you know, like, I don't know, what is that? 44, 45,000-ish sitting around. It's not too bad. Um, so at first we uh, met in the uh, weight room at, like, 1.30 and had, like, an hour and a half long good-ass lift. Like, really heavy leg day, maxing out with, like, squats and stuff like that. And so, we were pretty tired after after that. It was it was pretty hype. Like, everyone, we had loud music blaring. Everyone was getting going nuts and cheering each other on. Um, what's going on? Okay, wow, we are far away. Um, follow me for now, guys. I kept on trying to change to, like, a, a ranged weapon, like a bow or something, and then, I, and then I remembered, we don't have one. That's fine. Down there. This is really far away. I really hope we can take him out in this... Is that a flaming arrow? What the... Sh what? That's not good. Um, so we did that. And then, keep in mind, so... I'm on the track team. I'm a thrower. And it was all the throwers together. Now, throwers are generally... Uh, pretty bigger people. I am not your stereotypical thrower by any means. I'm 6'5", 195. Uh, I am puny for a thrower, in weight-wise at least. Um, we went for what turned out to be a nine-mile run. Uh, we went to the forest um, by the college, by Grand Valley, and the whole deal was uh, we started out as a group, and whenever we came to a split in the path, half of us would go each way, and then later on we were supposed to join up back together. Problem was, the paths did not all join up back together uh, necessarily. Wow, look at all this. Um... Alright, archers, you chill right here. Infantry, you go ahead and charge. Cavalry, you go ahead and charge. This should work. Oh shit, we probably should have gone in first. This is actually a really cool castle. I like this. Actually, hold up. Get the hell back. Back up. Back up, guys. Back up. 
Yep, get out of here. Let me go first. Let me break away for you guys, and then y'all can come in. Um, but yeah, so, uh, and one group in particular was lost for, I think, two hours or so? And, of course, me being, um, the only one, uh, that was not incredibly winded by all this going on. I wasn't the only one, but one of the few ones that wasn't winded. My job was to run up every single path there was and, and search for these guys and see if they were on their way. Which, spoiler alert, no they were not. <laughs> um, like I said, they were lost for over two hours. So we're in the woods for probably what ended up being two and a half, two hours and 45 minutes around there. Those are spear champions? Why the hell do the Highlanders have those guys? Those guys are... I don't know what those guys are from, but they're definitely not Highlander troops. Um, so yeah, nine miles. Uh, there was one girl who collapsed in the first five minutes, and yeah, it was it was not pretty. All right, we need to take care of this guy. He's not really doing much damage, but he's being annoying. And you, come here. No, come here. Come here. Stop hiding. Okay. If you're gonna just focus and face me, I'm gonna have other troops come in and no deal with you. There we go, now we're doing some damage. Need a stab, there we go. Boom, dead. 792 experience, holy shit, they are tough. No wonder he was taking so many hits. Uh, but yeah, so we did that. And that wasn't even a bad part. I actually kind of enjoyed it. I really wasn't um, all that tired by it. Most of the reason was because... Um, I wasn't supposed to get ahead of the group, so what would end up happening is I would I would lightly jog for around 10 seconds, and then have to walk for about a minute to wait for everyone else to catch up. That was generally what happened, because like I have some really long legs, so even when I'm trying to jog slow, I just cover ground quickly. Um, but yeah, so that wasn't even too bad. I didn't mind that bit. Um, so then I get back from practice, and I take my wallet out, and I put it on my desk. Uh, in my apartment, which, speaking of which, I am planning on uh, uploading a video of uh, just uh, showing you guys around at least a apartment tour, kind of show you guys uh, a few of my friends that I've been hanging out here with, uh, like Christian, he's still here, um, and that sort of thing, but anyways, so I, I take my wallet out, put it on my desk like I always do, and then I go to take a shower, and so, I mean, it was a, it was a long workout. I was pretty sweaty, so I had a long shower, like a 30-minute shower. Came out, and wallet was missing. Now, during this time, um, all my roommates, all three of them were here, and one of them, in particular, had two sketchy-ass friends that were over, who also happened to be leaving Grand Valley on Friday and not returning. Um, yeah, conveniently leaving immediately after my wallet went missing. So, yeah. That kind of sucks. Um, I was out. I was without my student ID uh, for the rest of Friday and the entire weekend because student services is not open on the weekend, so I couldn't get a replacement. And that meant VMP could not eat. I could not use my meals because I didn't have my ID. So I went hungry this weekend, and that was not pleasant. I was quite salty. Not pleased at all. Um, but yeah. Luckily Monday. Uh, student services was open again, I was able to, uh, get a replacement, get all that sorted out, and let me tell you, I feasted. I feasted on Monday. Um, we have a, uh, where are all my troops at? What are you guys doing? Come on. You're getting, like, no kills. I'm doing all the work. What are these, all the Highlanders? You know, the Highland heroes? There's a bunch of them. Um, yeah, so we have, like, a, a buffet on campus. So there's a bunch of different places where you can use your meals. And, um, there's one buffet called Fresh. And so the quality of food there is maybe not as good as other places on campus. But for me, I don't really have high standards. As long as it tastes decent, I'm happy. So, yeah, I had, like, freaking five plates of food. I was so hungry for breakfast. I was just, like, eggs, pancakes. Um, did they have bacon that day? I think they had sausages instead. Yeah, I pounded. It was good. Um, but yeah, so everything's back to normal. I'm happy again. My uh, coach, uh, we had a meeting on uh, Monday, like a one-on-one -on -one meeting. He was like, so, how are things going? And I'm like, well, right now I'm feeling great. Just had the first meal that I've had in like two and a half days. And he was like, what? You haven't eaten in two and a half days? What are you doing? You're already the tiniest thrower. <laughs> you need to be eating. 
And I was like, believe me, coach, I was not willing. Um, I didn't go completely without food. Um, I had the last three ramen packets that we had, and then just gallons of protein shakes. <laughs> and by protein shakes, I mean, um, oh, it's another one of those spirit champions. Um, by protein shakes, I mean literally just water with protein powder, because I didn't have any milk. So yeah, not the tastiest, but it, uh, it worked. It worked. But other than that, I've been having tons of fun. Uh, college is great. Lots of parties, um, lots of new people to meet. Okay, uh, we are not in a good position right now. Let's go ahead and dip on out here. And find where everyone else is. Let's get them free. Get them out of that bottleneck would probably be the smartest idea. How many have we killed so far? About 100. About 100 killed, another almost 30 wounded. Are they following me? Hey, back off. I say it back off. Hey, chill. What do you think you're doing? I've been back here and slaughtering dozens of your men. You really think that you can take me out? You just drew my attention to you. That was a bad move. Bad career move. This is bold strategy, Cotton. See how it pays out. It pays off. Damn it. I messed it up. Oh well. Please forgive me. Um. Hmm. What else has been going on? There's been a. There's. I have so many stories, guys. And I, I don't plan on telling them all today. I plan on kind of spacing them out as they occur. Just, uh. My, uh. Two of my roommates in particular are quite the partiers, especially one. And so, especially welcoming. Uh, welcome week. Things got a little hectic here. Because, uh. I'm at. I'm at a place called Laker Village, if you didn't know. Um, and I'm not in a normal dorm. It's. We have an apartment, really. Uh, it's two stories. Um, we have our basically uh, two bedrooms with two people in them upstairs and in our bathroom. And then downstairs we have a mini kitchen and kind of a living room. And that's about it. So, and our we. I still don't even know who our RA is. I've never met him or her or anything. And that should give you an idea on how little they check up on us. So. Yeah, things get to get a little nuts. Uh, they don't really care if anyone's partying, even though it's supposed to be a dry campus. No one really seems to care about that. Uh, so yeah, a lot of that has been going on. Although, me personally, I don't really drink at all. Never have. Never really plan on it. It's just, I have enough fun without it. And let me tell you guys, my uh, when there's a lot of drunk people around, my Snapchat stories are just absolute fire. They're the funniest shit around. Because drunk people are funny. Especially when you're sober and you know when to videotape them. Alright, here we go. Finally broke these guys free. They're gonna hopefully do some work here. Axe Master. I didn't know we had any Axe Masters. Okay, wow. Alright, looks like a bunch of scrubs here. This should be... Kind of the slaughterhouse. Which, huh. <laughs> uh, fun fact, that's our nickname for our apartment, is the slaughterhouse. And if I have to explain to you why it's called that, I don't think you probably want to know. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll just leave it at that. We will just leave it at that. Oof, wow, we got wrecked there. We are kind of a little low on health. And by saying that, I mean we're like at third health even after battling all these people, so I imagine that we'll be fine, especially since I don't think these guys can do more than a damage or two to us at a time. Get out of here. Oop, come on. Stab. And swoop. Come on. Swing, swing, swing. Come on, kill feed. Let me get it. Let me get the kill feed. Alright, come here. Come here, you. Shame. Ooh. Whoa. A little bit of frame right there. Uh, yeah, I do have a new setup right now with my computer and everything, so... Uh, it, does, it is taking a little bit of getting used to. Um, mainly it's my mouse. It's like, I have the same monitor that I had. It is in kind of a different position. My chair is in a different position. Okay, really, guys? Get my shield out. Just do the jumping overhead. That's how you get out of these groups. 
stops him from stagging you with it for your blow bouncing off. Oh, never mind, man. I had a sweet tournament move in that uh, tournament I did in between episodes. God, it was like this one time where um, it was the uh, final two guys. We jumped up, killed one on the way up, like with one swing. So we like jumping as we we're jumping up, swung one. Kind of got stuck on the other one's horse, hit him once, and then as we were sliding off, we finished him off with another blow. So basically, a three-hit VMP move. It was nuts. I loved it. I was going nuts. I kind of wish I had video recorded it, but uh, or had it for the video, but oh well. You live and you learn. I also had a uh, 15 kill uh, tournament round, which I think is a record for me. Uh, who all did we lose here? 11 men. Five lordless men at arms. A mercenary lancer. Four Garone infantry. Okay, that's not too bad. Especially the Garone infantry. I'm pretty sure those are the weakest there are. Uh, so that's not too bad. Lots of enemies to capture. Boom. Uh, anyone level up? There we go. Ooh, a couple of Garoan knights. Awesome. Garoan general? That's a new unit for us. Oh, man. Look at that horse. That is a fashion statement if I've ever seen one. <laughs> uh, right, let's take some Garoan infantry. Oh, fuck that. I mean, we're going to take all of them. Because uh, we're just going to station them right away. Might as well. Uh, do we want to take all these guys, even the scrubs? Yeah, I mean, they only cost like one or two denarius a week, so that's nothing, basically. That's fine. Ooh, a Masterwork Heavy Bastard Sword. Let me see. Oh, it's just a two-handed sword. Not really interested in that. Got me excited, though. Uh, and I want it. Oh, wow, they wanted a lot of that stuff. Wow. Okay, well, collect all items then. And we definitely want that awarded to us. We just took the initiative. We are good people. Got infantry. Alright. So we'll level up these guys. Drop all of them off. And we'll even drop off some of the people that we aren't planning on using. Um, tell you what, we'll also drop off him, I think. All the maxed out guys maybe we should drop off? Hammer throwers. Hmm. Do we want to do that? Drop off. Oh, spirit champion. Oh, so we did have one of those. We have, yeah, one of those. Holy shit, he already cost 1,200 and he has another level up? Damn. That's insane. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think we can actually put all the guys that we have fully leveled up here in here for now. And juggernauts and whatnot, the ones we definitely don't want to die. Ooh, Axe Masters, they level up into Blood Lords. Okay. Okay, I'm starting to remember, guys. I'm starting to remember. Uh, we'll keep the Lordless Man at Arms. They're not really elite enough to want to save necessarily. Knight Errant? Sure, you can wait in there. Zendarian Avengers. Uh, Sheriffs, same thing. Boyer Sons? You guys are okay, but I don't think you're quite good enough. The Sword Sisters, you guys look pretty good. Mercenary Captain. I'll keep you around for now, I think. Valiant Admiral, you're definitely going away. Okay. I think this works. We're down to 120. It's a little more manageable. We're going to be really mad if we don't get the castle. In fact, if we don't get the castle, then we're just going to revolt. I don't know what we do at that point. Um, that's probably how we're going to leave this faction, though, is once we have enough castles and they refuse to give us any more, then we're just going to revolt. I think that's probably our best option. Um, which means the next, uh, castle we take is going to need to be a, um, wait, we're doing strength for you, right, Nizar? I believed so. Is that right? Um... I don't know what else we want to put these points in, though. We have two points left over. Spotting, pathfinding? Shit, I don't know. He already has his leadership. I don't even know. I'll worry about that later. Uh, Marned, you were already leveled up. Sajan, I don't think you were. No, you were not. There we go. Some more power strike for you, sir. There you go. 
Um, all right. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, well, do we not? Are there any skills we don't have? Oh, well, Myron is, is taken out right now. So let's actually put him at the bottom. He's our healer. Uh, so we don't want him injured as much as possible. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, the next castle we're going to take is definitely going to have to be a town uh, since we're only allowed to have a maximum of, like, three uh, castles or three um, fiefs before they stop giving us the fiefs. So I'm not sure what we want to take there. We could take Dirham next episode maybe. That could work. We could also wait a little bit before we take one out if we don't feel like we're quite ready, but I think we should be. Ooh, here we go. Another spirit champion waiting here. Deserters. Ooh, 12 paladins. These guys are pretty tough. Uh, we're not as fast as them anyway, so we don't have to worry about that. All right, so we lost... Six thousand. Okay. Not too bad. It's not too bad. And we have a bunch of stuff under sequestration right now because the county of Garo is at war with everybody. So once again, that's not too big of a deal. Um, and it was actually smart to drop off the troops we just did because that cut out on how much we just had to pay for our uh, party by a lot. Yeah. Oh, someone just... Uh, Lady Elion announced his allegiance. Okay, that makes sense. From the Rodox and joined us. Okay, that's cool. Um, same with Count Tribidin. Joined the County of Garod. Or were the Rodox eliminated? No. I mean, they have three castles. They have the three castles that we left them with. They shouldn't be eliminated. Hmm. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know what's up with that. Um, but okay. Ooh. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Let's help these guys. Damn it. Got away again. Ugh. We're too slow. We're too slow. Um, let's go around. And I want to level up some more of my of these guys. The grown infantry. Because the grown knights are really nice. And they're pretty easy to get. Um, from what I've seen. And we have 28 grown infantry I think I saw. So we definitely have the manpower uh, to do that. What's going on here? Ooh, hello. Hello. He's kind of all over the board. He has a bunch of random people. does have 30 Gazis, though. I don't think they're very good. Let's go ahead and fight him. I'm afraid of no ghosts. Ooh, who is he fighting? Oh, sweet. We can just help these guys out. Get some more relation. That works. Oh, we do not want them taking out that patrol. Look at how many troops that would give them. 72 extra troops. Yeah. Nope. I'm not going to let that happen. Oh, God. That was close. Okay, and maybe if they took him out, oh, they're running from us. Okay, that's good. That means we can definitely win. That means we can definitely win. They're faster than us? How are they that much faster than us? They have more troops than us. What's our freaking, our pathfinding is for? That's not bad. Borgia, come on, man. Oh, is it because Martin is still wounded? Is he our main pathfinding guy? No, he's not. He's our healer. Jesus, we're just that slow, huh? Oh, that blows. Okay. Alright, whatever. We'll go to Cherise. Go to Cherise, sell off these troops. Um, okay, so we just made peace with the Highlanders. That's nice. Not that I was particularly scared of them. Oh, and they just took out took our prisoners from us. That kind of sucks. Uh, did get right to rule. We're going to be getting a ton of uh, right to rule from being with these guys. Because <laughs> wars are going to be starting and ending non-stop. Uh, we're not currently reading a book. You're damn right. I'm not even sure. Yeah, intelligence is 7. Edward isn't <laughs> smart enough to know how to read a book. He is illiterate. Quite literally. <laughs> literally illiterate. I like that. Oh, God, 265 prisoners there. That is not good. Not good at all. Ooh, Kirky guy. Where? Where's the Kirky guy? They just said they were... Oh, right here. Oh, this guy again. Ooh. Ooh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, run away, bitch. Be a little coward. I see how it is. 
Alright, like I said, two Cherie's. And actually, it's about 30 minutes right now, so we can probably end off the episode. Uh, I'm kind of liking the schedule right now. So what happened with today is that I finished my practice, and then I had about an hour between uh, the practice and the lifting, so I decided to upload or make a video because none of my roommates are here. Um, if this continues to work out, this could be uh, the way that we can finally set up a schedule so I'm consistently putting out videos. But I do need to end this off here. I need to go and we have our workout now and like uh, should probably have already left to be honest. Um, don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. Oh wait, we don't have the guys to sell off anymore. Right, that sucks. Anything? Anything good? I doubt it. I doubt it. Yeah, you ain't got nothing. I still don't know if that actually works how it's supposed to. Because they say there's supposed to be a, a random modifier on it, and so far we haven't gotten any modifiers. It's not even like we're only getting bad modifiers. We haven't gotten any modifiers. Ooh, teach me a poem. What? Oh. You've already taught me a poem. Never mind. Um, Alright, so I think we can go ahead and end it off here, guys, then. Uh, pretty good episode. We got our first real fief. We got our uh, first castle. Our first fief that is not rated. Oh, wait. Mint Noon is actually up and functioning. What is... Well, I guess we haven't technically gotten our first fief yet. If they don't give it to us, I'm going to be kind of pissed. But I guess shit happens. Um... Uh, 36 days. 9,000. Sure. We'll be good. Actually, that's probably not worth the money at all, but whatever. We at least have something running in there. So, as always, guys, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this series and all the rest of the series that we got going on right now. Um, I'm planning on probably alternating uh, a new dawn and then fantasy cow rated for at least the time being at some point I hope we can get back to XCOM, but those episodes often take me Two three hours just to record one episode um, And I really don't have the time for that quite yet uh, Hopefully at some point though we can get back to that, but as always guys take it easy